Hosni Mubarak was a career military officer, a head of the Egyptian Air Force, and hero of the 1973 Arab-Israeli War. He went on to become President Anwar Sadat's deputy until he was catapulted onto the international stage when this happened. Sadat was assassinated during a parade in Cairo in 1981. Mubarak was next to him at the time and was moved away to safety. Eight days later, he was sworn in as president. <laughs> to start what would turn out to be almost 30 years in power. Mubarak brought Egypt back into the Arab League after its membership had been suspended because of Sadat's peace treaty with Israel. And he used his permission to promote peace in the Middle East. But at home, emergency rule was in place during his time in power. He justified it by saying the country was at risk of attack, like this one in Cairo in 1997. His critics said he was using it as an excuse to clamp down on his opponents. He was re-elected in what were effectively a series of referendums with no opposition. And despite international pressure, he retained a strong grip on power. Early attempts at economic reform faded as his time in office became linked with corruption and the enrichment of his family. The end came when tens of thousands of people took to the streets in 2011 to protest. He resigned despite initial attempts to hold on. <laughs> His fall from grace was swift. He appeared in court on a stretcher, looking frail and ill, and was convicted of a series of crimes, including failing to stop the killing of protesters, corruption and embezzlement. Some of these convictions were eventually overturned, including the charge of conspiring to kill protesters. In March 2017, Egypt's top appeals court upheld Mubarak's acquittal, and he went free for the first time in six years.